Thanks, Jesse. This is Charles at the LA Amp Show for Premier Guitar. I'm here with Gabriel as well. What's going on, man? Hey, how are you? Thank you. And uh, we're looking at some of Gabriel's wares here, some of his little masterpieces of guitar work. And uh, tell us about what you got going here, man, because you actually got some stuff with some cool stories, too. Yeah, thanks. Um, these guitars, actually, I, I came up in the GNL shop just out of high school, late 80s, early 90s. And uh, I actually ran out working and, and running the wood shop for a few years. And, and as a parting gift, McLaren's gave me this piece that I found in Leo's workshop attic. That's this guy down here, yeah? yeah. yeah right here. And, um, and uh, basically, it's a trisonic R&D period. Uh, the, the templates were dated 1969. It was originally routed for Z pickups, and originally it started. They started doing a, a B bender, and I think he was messing around with active stuff back then. Mm -hmm. And so I got it, it was caked in dust, it was up there just kind of covered in dust, and I brought it down, showed John McLaren Jr., he was like, yeah, take it, and I was like, okay. So I, I took it home, built the neck, put it together, and been playing it ever since, and about five years ago, I decided I wanted to put them out, and I went back to GNL, and they said they weren't interested, so I said, okay, well, I'm going to do it, and so that's what I'm doing. So these are all Victorian rose patterns from the 1700s that I'm doing on these. Oh, on this guy here. On this guy, on the white guy. A Victorian rose pattern. I wanted to do an homage to the Paisley, you know, and I thought, how, how could I do that? But, but nicer and better and kind of modernish. So I'm aging all the hardware. Jerry Malfitano is my pickup guy. I use nothing but his pickups. Um, all Tone Pros, CTS, Pots, you know, Shield, you know, the whole, the whole, all the bells and whistles. I hand make them 100%. There's no CNC machines in my little tiny 10 by 10 shop. Um, I make them all personally. I fret them all. I've worked with Michael Lippi, Taco Sono, Michael Tobias, uh, Roger Sadowski, you know, back in the day. And then these guys are just my, my kind of homage to the Junior, to the Supro, to the Framus. Uh, these are all deep tenon, huge tenon set necks. The necks uh, that I make on these set necks are actually reclaimed Victorian hardwoods from uh, from vintage, like antique, um, uh, mostly mahogany materials, mostly like armoires or desks or that kind of thing that people are trashing. So I've I've learned to I've got a stockpile of this shit and. Uh, it's awesome, and it's it's all set. It's ready to go. You know, there's no movement in the woods at all. They're all aged timbers. Uh, they're all slab body. Other than the stuff that I do that's that has a top on it, they're all slab body African mahogany. Yeah. Is that pretty heavy, Jesse? No, actually, the weight on them is really the weight on these is really good. Um, neck profiles on them is uh, you know they're perfect. The frets on these are probably some of the better fret work I've ever played on a guitar from from anyone. <laughs> So uh, what else do you have here, man? Uh, so this is called the Bastard Series. This little blue guy here, it's a Bastard Series. And it's like, I like relic guitars, but I like them punk rockly relic. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not necessarily... As in they've been played by... By, by a guy that just doesn't give a yeah. f You know what I mean? And like, like your style, man. Exactly. And, and, you know, there's a lot of, dude, there's a lot of guys that are doing relics, like, amazingly. There's a lot of guys that are doing flame tops, amazingly. I don't do flame tops. I don't do relics. I do bastards, and I do koa tops, and that's about it. Um, aside from my one hollow body um, that I'm actually going to start doing as a solid uh, satin finish, no, no tops, this is... This was a top that was given to me by Mike Lippi, so I said, okay, I gotta make something out of it. So I've been making these. I've made about five of them. They're pretty killer. It's beautiful, man. Um, the necks, again, are the Victorian uh, era of mahogany. Uh, they're all three piece quarter sawn lambed uh, per like a Tobias kind of build. And then uh, Johnny Two Bags, it's a social distortion. He's got one of my juniors out on the road right now. We're talking about possibly doing something else in the future with his name on it. Uh, maybe, and uh, probably something like this design. I'm going to be doing some actual gold, golds like 50s golds, uh, and some TVs in the uh, in the downtowner. So this is the downtowner. This actually is called the Trifonic, and that's the Trifonic Rose. And uh, well, we heard the Trifonic. Let's hear the downtowner. Let's have Je Jesse check, plug that in. We'll check it out and see how it sounds. <laughs>
that's just straight straight downtowner and satellite amp here, right? Yeah, straight up, man. I mean, there's one thing about the downtowners that was a happy accident, which is the neck tenon. Uh, the, the neck joint here, it, most Les Paul type things, you can't really get too much access. And I've noticed like a lot of builders are doing the access thing. And I, I didn't want to do that, actually. It just kind of so happened that when I set the tenon, it just wound up being like around the 16th, 17th fret that, that it wound up being the area where the neck tenon wound up. And so I was like, oh, f it, you know, just leave it there. So, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's kind of cool because it's... Like, you can do a little more than you could do, like, on a Junior or a Paul kind of right. thing. And but you don't lose any stability or anything? It still maintains the integrity of that of that aesthetic build and that, yeah, the integrity of the, the solidness. Because the tenons go clear down into the end of the pickup route on all of them. So it's like, you know, that's kind of the... Yeah, they're, they're, they're just massive. They're huge. And, and uh, that's the fulcrum for, for the whole thing as a unit, you know, to kind of act as one, so. Should we hear the solid, uh, the hollow body rather as well? Jesse is rattling windows. For all you at home, Shanghai Jesse here is destroying property with this DeArmin <laughs> neck pickup on this downtowner. Now this is uh, this is Grandpa Leo here, huh? Grandpa, man, I'm, a, I'm actually going to do a model called Clarence, yeah. and it's. <laughs> It's gonna be just a black guard type version of this, just just a black guard single pickup. Again, Jerry Maltano, and and I, before I forget, Gil at Divine Noise was kind enough and generous enough to like send some shit from from Oregon, and they got here yesterday. So sorry, Gil, it's a little late, but I'm using his cables in this demo, and they sound unreal. So. <laughs> Pretty sick. <laughs> Thanks, Shanghai. Jesse, cool. All right, so where should people go to find out more about what you're doing, man? Because it's all really cool. Yeah, thank you. Uh, EchoParkGuitars.com. Uh, I'm in Los Angeles. If you ever want to stop by, I'm at, at a Bedrock Studios. Or you can come by the shop and we can hang out and talk about the build, you know? Um, Preferably not too late, right? Oh, no, I'm up till midnight every night. <laughs> you got to get the kid off to school by, like, 9.30, so... That's it, man. I do like a 14-hour day every day, so. All right, well, late nighters need not apply. All right, this is Charles signing off from the LA Amp Show for Premier Guitar. <laughs>